Welcome back, folks, to more Quest for Glory. Found some interesting graffiti here on the wall, if I can manage to read it. Those who wish to follow the way of the sword should start at the very beginning or face their undoing. After you read that, you can return to the uh, fighter palace, and we're going to go looking for trouble in the streets of Shapir here. Now I'm going to need to slow this down because this is way too fast. As a matter of fact, slow it down to a crawl because for some reason battles pick up anyways. <laughs> you like that, bitch? Back dodge is a lot easier than the parry. A lot easier. I just whooped your ass, whoever the fuck you are. Messing with Lug Lug. I'm gonna run away from you. Alright, we'll put it back to about medium for some reason. The fights are ridiculously... It's probably because this game is uh, not meant to run on i7 8-core processors and shit. Got my stats up a little bit. Been practicing with uh, Yuru, who... Whoever. African Bombadi, black bitch with the spear and the shield. 111 strength now, 85 in agility. 105... Vitality, 106 weapon use. Got my dodge up a little bit in that fight with Dingleberry. I believe his name is Sir James or something, but we that's not the last we'll be seeing of him either way. Need to rest. Sunset approaches, so we better go watch Shima dance. If you'll be seated, then you will see my Shima dance. Wow! Check out my little pink spandex. It's kitty time! Shaking my kitty booty, shaking my kitty booty, check out my kitty titties too. Know you want some, you know you want some of this pussy. Cat, shaking my booty, shaking my titties, shaking my kitty titties, and my booty too. Check out my tail, it's longer than your ding dong. You want some pussy, cat? I need to go beat off. You applaud long and hard for your friend Shema's dancing prowess.
Shema will be with you shortly with one of her splendid meals. I have prepared a meal of rabbit and apricots and roast chicken with sherbet for this night's meal. May it bring you pleasure. Pleasure. You have a wonderful meal. There are numerous salads, two main courses, fruit, hot mint tea, dessert, and all the bread you could want. After the meal like that, you feel like it will be a struggle even to make it to bed, but what the hey. You're a hero, you can do it. You awaken, much refreshed, as the sun begins to rise. Welcome, hero. Need my breakfast. May you have a good day today. Licking my paws. Your breakfast is delicious. Farewell, hero. The poet Omar will thrill all who hear his words of song after the setting of the sun in our own inn. I already got the SARS foot trash can, biatch. Alright, <laughs> I read something on the graffiti about the plaza at the fountain. Follow Nafara Darb. Those who turn onto the dark starry path will face great peril. Well, we're on Dinar. I'm just waiting for what's his face to pop up again. Should be at the said the fountain. Plaza of the Fountain North. It said when the fountain meets Dinar. Well, this is Fountain Avenue.
There's that motherfucker. Got distracted there because my goddamn fucking dogs decided to go ape shit for no reason. He's a mage now, so he's not a very good fighter, but I basically wore myself out last time. Maybe he's a thief now? I don't know. He sure is moving a lot. I did that jump attack. <laughs> Kicked his fucking ass that time. Yeah, run off, pansy boy.
I think I'm going to go practice uh, more fighting. First few days, you just uh, kind of get your skills up there. There's a lot more to do if you're the wizard. You can get the different spells, get supercharged versions of like Flame Dart and uh, the different spells. Maybe one day I'll go back and play through all the uh, Quest for Glories and even Quest for Infamy as the mage. Probably. More than likely. It is good sometimes to have Simba with Rakish. How to feel like strong warrior when feeding baby. Maybe you and I do some practice with your sword and my taco today. Sure, I'll beat the shit out of you some more if you want. Basically, I just sit here and I fight over and over and then I rest. Uh, 56 stamina, let's see. Today we're just going to do a lot of practicing and fighting. And then we need to be home by sunset, which we can check with our time. It's mid-morning, so we're going to get a lot of good practice in. And you're all going to get to watch me do it. Suri-sana, I accept your challenge. Let's fuck. I mean, I, I mean fight. Sorry. Sorry, so sorry. Me like a white ding-ding. Suck that bitch! Uh. Damn, that uses a lot. I think he does that on his own. Whenever he does a back dodge. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm about to lose my stamina. And when that happens, you start draining hit points. <clears throat> Actually, she'll beat you. Because you don't get to lose hit points in this. But I'll still get my dodge and weapon use up and... Now what you want to do after you do a little fight fight. Just come in the next room here and use the hourglass. Or excuse me, use the sleep icon and you rest for an hour. That'll get your stamina up a bit more. Enough to win, hopefully. And then I just come right back in the room and I fight. This is more or less what I'm doing for the first several days first few days here because once you get out to the desert you're gonna get your ass kicked if you ain't ready f with your skills as a fighter anyways I always play as a fighter I don't I like fighters they're sexy <clears throat> She's poning me. Jump attack takes a lot of stamina. I'm almost better just going toe to toe here and stabbing her little by little. Ah! <sighs> 
Jumping around like a monkey, bitch. You're gonna get fucked up by the game hoarder, baby. What? What? Either I be out of shape from Simba, or you be getting too good for me plenty soon. That's what she said. And then I check my stats to see where I improved. More strength, stamina's at 100, 122. Weapon use, dodge is getting up there a little bit. Vitality. As a fighter, I need lots of strength and vitality. Luck doesn't hurt. Experience is getting up there. Can't creep or pick locks where the shit or climb because I haven't practiced my climbing, but. And then we come in here, wash, rinse, and repeat. And I always check the day because once you get to a sunset, you want to head back to the inn. So that you don't miss Omar's poet bullshit. And I always save a lot in case. Is that shit? She wasn't doing that before. Definitely get more skill. Mm. She wasn't doing the double attacks before. Bitch. You 
taught Yurura a lesson with your long sword. You very fast learner. I think maybe you'd be plenty tough enough now. Bitch, I'm tough enough when I say I'm tough enough. 105 stamina, 127 weapon use. I want more battle. God damn it. More battle! Ninety-eight stamina. Probably have time for one more battle here. And I always save on a different save in case I miss something that I'm supposed to do during the day. Like, get to the pod in time. Dodging takes up so much uh, SP, some stamina, it's just fucking ridiculous. <clears throat> Better off standing in one place. Bitch can take a beating, I'll give her that. <clears throat> Swap that bitch away. Hooker. enough for today. Soon you'll be giving me lessons. Bitch, I just gave you a lesson. It's called getting your ass whooped by the white boy. Ooh, I got time for one more. All right, I'm going to spare you me fighting her one last time, and I'll unpause the camera once we get there. Taught that bitch another lesson. All right, I think after we rest now, it's going to be time to head back. So 
So we're sitting on 107 stamina, 135 weapon use, 128 strength, 119 vitality. Agility's at 95. Good day, a most pleasant one for those such as myself who like the heat. Although most humans might find it hot. Simba here is more like a lion. He is having a wonderful time. Uh, yeah, that's safe. Let your uh, kid play outside with the fucking lion. The poet will soon speak, if you will but be seated. I just got Rick rolled. I got Rick rolled at Quest for Glory. Motherfucker. You just got rickrolled. In the month of the serpent in the year of the Jinn, a shadow passed over the Kata's tail in. Astrologers foretell that doom shall come to dwell, and Shapir shall be but sand upon the wind. Comes a hero from the north, riding on the very air, and the sign is the first to then beware. For darkness soon shall fall, and shadow cover all, the city and the ones now living there. The first doom shall be fire, which shall burn the very stone. The next is air, and the rocks are overthrown. Earth shall be the third, then the final doom is heard. The water gone, the city parched like bone. Unless the one called Hero is a hero true indeed, who comes to help the city and smoke a lot of weed. Then face will then will face the depths of doom and put his cock inside lots of women's womb. From the elemental masters we are freed. I like my poem better. Give me a fucking meal, pussy! Shema will be out with one of her meals. It is a kid cuisine that we heated up in the microwave. Here is lemon, garlic, and lamb stewed with herbs. Eat it. Eat it now. Lick it. Lick my. Lick my pussy cat. Bye bye. Fortunately, heroes never get belly aches. All right. Fucking bedtime, man. We'll see you folks next video for day four. Thanks for watching.